I've been working my way through the farms of Marietta. And this is another poem about young Albert Ravensbottom. I was still alive. The day after Christmas, young Albert were what's called confined to his bed. We had that kind of pain in his stomach and a light feeling up in his head. His parents were all in a fluster when they saw little lad was so sick. They said, put out your tongue, and when they seen it, they said, put it back again quick. Ma made him a basin of gruel, but that were a move for the worse. Well, the little lad tried hard to eat it, at the finish, he did the reverse. The pain showed no signs of abating, so at last they got doctor to call. He said it would be me a dooming, and not in the stomach at all. He sent up a bottle of physic, with instructions not labelled to say, to be taken in a recumbent posture, one teaspoon three times a day. As Ma stood there reading the label, Pa started to fit it about. He said, get a teaspoon and dose him before he gets better we out. I can manage the teaspoon, said Mother, a look of distress on her face. It's this here we come up posture. I haven't got one in the place. Said Pa, what about Mrs. Lupton? Next door here, you'd better ask her. A woman who's buried three husbands is sure to have one of them there. So they went round and asked Mrs. Lupton. Ah, I know what you mean, she replied. I had one on order for Horace, but poor dear got impatient and died. She said, you'd best try co-opture. They'll have one in stock, I dare say. In fact, I think I saw one in window. Last time I were passing that way. So round they went to the co-op shop, and at the counter for our sole supplies, Pa asked for a recumbent posture, and the shopman said, Yes sir, what size? Said Ma, it's for our little Albert. I don't know what size he would use. I know he takes 13 in collars, and 6 is 4 fittings in shoes. Oh, if it's little lad size as you're wanting, said the shopman, I'm sorry to say. We know but had one in the building, and that one we sold yesterday. He sent them across to the tinsmith, who said, I know what you've in mind. If you draw me a pattern, I'll make one. But Pa left his pencil behind. They tried every shop they could think of. They walked for two hours by the clock. And though most places reckoned to keep them, they'd none of them got one in stock. The last place they tried was a chemist. He looked at them both with a frown and told them a recumbent posture were Latin and meant lying down. It means lying down, put in Latin, said Father. That's just what I felt. And he picked up a side mouth from Mother and pretended he hadn't said that. Yeah. They're not dosing my lad with Latin, said Mother, her face looking grim. Just plain castor oil's all he's getting, and I'm leaving the posture to him. Yeah. 